Hello and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Foundation plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the new Brick Ledges module. This is uh, the module I'm talking about here. This has the three icons on it for Brick Ledges and uh, specifically it's designed for adding Brick Ledges to slab on grade foundations. So you have the added add Brick Ledge function, the edit, and the delete. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right back here. Uh, so today I'm going to actually kind of walk through uh, utilizing um, all three of the features that I've recently developed for the slab on grade, um, but I'll primarily focus on the um, brick ledges. So we'll just start right from scratch here. We're going to go ahead and do a little polygon shaped uh, slab on grade foundation. So we'll just click this right here. We'll select polygon and we'll just trace out a real quick sort of L shaped foundation. I'm not really concerned about dimensions or anything just trying to get a, a basic shape on this uh, foundation here that seems reasonable. So let's just do that. We're going to leave all this kind of as default. And let's turn off the slab reinforcement just kind of speed things up for the demo. And leave the anchor boards where they're at. Okay, so there's our basic um, <coughs> slab on grade. You can see you got the perimeter turned down footing. Uh, we're going to assume this is a garage here, and then this is living quarters, and so living space. Uh, I'm going to stretch a footing across right here in line. Uh, the edge of it is going to be in line with this edge. So actually to do that, I'm just going to put a little guideline right here and right there. And then I'm going to um, put a line. Uh, let's just throw one right there. Okay, so I'm going to actually stretch that interior footing between the midpoint of this line and the midpoint of that line. And the reason why I did that is because I, when you do the interior footing, it of course goes down the center line of the footing, but I want to offset it by six inches so it's perfectly in line with this edge. So um, that's why I've done that. So let's go ahead and just click this uh, Draw Interior Footings button. And we're going to drop that footing down 18 inches deep. And let's just do a, uh, I don't know, maybe a 10 inch vertical drop, even eight inches doesn't really matter. And we'll hit update, and then we'll just grab the center point here and stretch out to the center point here, just like that. Okay, and then there's our interior footing. So now, if we take a look underneath, um, again, um, with footings and slabs, depressions, and brick ledges, this hidden layer right here allows you to view um, kind of an outline of each one of those features. And this, this is kind of a system layer, so please do not delete this or even the uh, little outlines that are created within the model. Because if you do, then you will not be able to edit or delete them. The, it has to be able to find those features, and that's how it's actually finding them. So we'll go ahead and turn that off. Um, <coughs> so now let's go ahead and just add a real quick uh, uh, slab depression here, just so we have something to show for the garage. So we'll go ahead and click this Draw Slab Depression. And... Let's just uh, put a little door here. We'll start right here. I'm gonna work my way around. I'm not. I usually would go like you know six or whatever. By we're gonna do a brick ledge, so we gotta take that into account. So 12 inches is fine. We'll just go 12 inches off, and we'll just bring this. Uh, we'll just bring this right up to that to that footing, and then right there. Into this corner here will work, and then three feet off the corner. So we'll zoom in here, grab that. All right, and that should be it. Okay. So now you can see right away that this rebar is um, is in the way, um, and you know I don't I actually don't have any th features in place to yet take care of the rebar uh, as it. Uh, pertains to you know slab uh, depressions or brick ledges um, so to deal with that right now I'm just going to actually I'm going to op hop into this slab on grade and I'm going to turn the top bar off for now um, I'm going to leave the bottom bar on though Let's just go hit update there okay so that went away and, and this and, and if we turn on the layer or turn the transparency on real quick you can see that the that the bottom bar is still there it's just, um, yeah. Okay, so now we've got ourselves just kind of a real basic f foundation here. 
Uh, and you can see also that you know we're, we're gonna, we'll have to edit where these anchor bolts go, but we'll we'll do that here in a second. Um, <clears throat> so let's hide the grid just so we can see this thing better. Okay, and we can just take care of these little little guide points. We don't need those anymore. Okay, so now we want to actually apply a brick ledge to this uh, front of this uh, of this residence, and we're not going to put a brick ledge. Um, well, actually, we could. Let's. We're going to go from this corner over to this corner. So it doesn't really matter which direction we go or anything. Actually, it just matters that we select the edges. So basically, as you mouse over these edges, you'll see they become highlighted around the perimeter of this. Um, and it doesn't matter whether you have slab depressions or not or any other feature. It will. It just. It knows that there's a perimeter edge there. Okay. So let's go ahead, we'll leave the ledge width at 6, the ledge depth, at, uh, or ledge width at 4, ledge depth at 6. And I'll explain these uh, extensions here in just a second, we'll get to that. But first things first, you can see that, um, and, and you can see the line is turned on, um, the, the guideline. So, so basically it's turned on this hidden line, that's what all these other additional lines are. This line is really the outline just for this depression. Um, <coughs> So it's it you know don't become confused with all these lines that are being displayed while you're creating these things. Uh, typically, you know, you turn that hidden layer off and then and then that goes away. And you can see that this brick ledge is deeper than this depth. Maybe we d we want these even um, and no big deal. We'll go in there and we can edit this um, this depth. So let's say let's turn that to six as well. Hit update on that. And now you'll see that it's exact depth of the brick ledge. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish brick ledge in this guy out. Just click this, click the next edge. I want this edge too. Okay, and you'll notice as we do this that the it's shifting the anchor bolts inland or shifting them into the building the appropriate amount. So right now you know they're they're positioned so that they're centered on a two by six. Uh, plate, right? And so as we put this brick ledge on, you'll see that they're shifted in the appropriate amount. Um, and maybe we want the maybe we want the brick ledge here too as well. Okay, and then you know if we need to edit this brick ledge, like for instance, let's say we need this brick ledge uh, maybe wider for some reason on this side or something. I don't know, deeper maybe. Um, and you can select the brick ledges. You just come down here. You kind of mouse over where that ledge is, and that outline will allow you to select it. So right there it pops up we're going to change this one to say six inches okay and you see it shifts it in and then let's just go i don't know let's go eight eight, eight inches deep just to show you that what happens if you go deeper okay and now you can see you know you can you can basically edit every one of these brick ledges and customize it to whatever it needs to be um, so now you've got brick ledges all the way around the front and the sides of the building and of course the back Maybe it's stucco, maybe it's siding, I don't know what it is. Um, <clears throat> okay, so pretty much that's it. I mean, you know, it's not too difficult. If you need to get rid of a brick ledge, you just click this. Notice the hidden layer comes on again. You highlight, you, as you mouse over it, it highlights. Say we want to delete that brick ledge. Okay, now it's gone. Now we want that brick ledge back. Okay, fine, we put it back. Okay, so it's just it allows you, you know, to get in here and quick and easily move things around, change things up. Um, <clears throat> so right here you can see we have a bit of an issue with this we want that you know that corner to fully corner out and so what I have is the extension feature which allows you to extend um, these brick ledges you know basically it extends the cut into the main uh, concrete so we're gonna edit this one well, doesn't matter we can do this one or this one or both it doesn't really matter I'm just gonna edit this one right here and uh, and also I don't really know which which end is a start or the end one or the other, so I'm just going to try the start first and see if that works. Okay, and that did, and you'll see also that the outline for this brick ledge is now pushed four inches this way. Okay, so you know and you can pu push it past that if you need to or whatever or don't bring it quite out as far it, it it doesn't really matter you you have that flexibility available to you so you can change things up as you need and if it extends past the foundation it doesn't matter essentially all that's happening is it, it's it's telling uh, if we turn on this layer you'll get the idea i guess what it's basically saying to the plugin is hey this is the outline right here um 
and it's going to cut and subtract boolean subtraction out of the concrete this solid basically pushing down at whatever the depth is so if there's nothing here it's just not going to cut it that's basically what's happening okay so let's turn that hidden layer off again and again this hidden layer is just a system layer that it's using to kind of keep track of things and help you orient and pick things as you need to so that's uh, pretty much it for brick ledges oh so yeah basically with regards to rebar um, especially with a slab rebar um, all of these three new features the uh, well actually the interior footing is 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 pretty good it has its own rebar uh, with that module and it's not an issue really the only issue becomes with right now with the slab depressions and with the um, brick ledge module is what you know there's no special logic right now that's dealing with um, the uh, you know if if the rebar needs to be shifted or displaced or cut or what have you bent in a certain way so it's um, you know you'd have to manually uh, deal with that at the moment but basically you can get you can get the concrete what you know where you need it and and how, you know customize it fairly fairly well now um and again it's it's spitting out you know how much square foot and how much uh how much of the cubic yards you've got and also with these depressions it's giving you a readout also on the square footage of that depression if that's important to you um again anchor bolts um it is shifting them in you know for the for the <coughs> brick ledge but what it's not doing is it's you know there's really no logic or, or really no way for it to know that hey there's a door cut here you know and and now these need to be moved out of the way i i'll have to think about this a little bit more but uh, at least for now um the only thing i can suggest is um you can either just jump in here and delete them or you can just simply you know move them over however much or wherever you want to place them um and that's what I typically do. And then, of course, once once you manually edit a, a foundation assembly, um, <clears throat> basically, you know, you you don't want to get back and edit it because it's going to basically regenerate this whole thing and reposition those anchor bolts to wherever they were originally. Um, the workaround for that probably is well, the, simply the workaround that I do once I get a thing and I want to start manually editing it is I'll click on the assembly, I'll go up here and I will remove. I'll basically rename this instance name. I'll remove. I'll just completely remove this instance name and put something in there that does not have this keyword "foundation uh, SOG polygon assembly" because that is is basically telling the plugin that hey, this is a, a Medik foundation assembly and I can edit it. It's, if as soon as you remove that, it will no longer allow you to edit um, and essentially lock this foundation from being edited by the plugin. So that is something probably good to know. Anyways, uh, that's a real quick introduction to the uh, new Brick Ledges footing, or Brick Ledges, not footing, a uh, Brick Ledges module. Um, it seems to work reasonably well. Again, all of these three new modules, the Brick Ledges, the uh, depressions, and the um, interior footings, they're all brand new, just kind of developed in the last couple of weeks. So I'm sure there will be, you know, some things that pop up about them that, I haven't quite um, seen before. There's always some state that the plugin seems to want to get itself into that hasn't been foreseen, and then you know that will cause errors. If you do see any errors or anything that pops up unexpected, uh, the best thing what I suggest is uh, come over here, turn on your Ruby console, duplicate that error, and then basically copy and paste that error into an email to me, send it to me, and then I will I will uh, I can take a look at it and see what we can do or see if there's if there is an issue that needs to be resolved. So once again thank you very much for your support and uh I will keep working on this plugin. Thank you.